Thanks for joining me today. This video is a follow-up video to the Web Security Hybrid Configuration and Endpoint Installation video that was posted recently. In the previous video, I did not cover the installation process of the hybrid services that need to be installed so that you can actually configure the solution. In this video, we will discuss and install the two hybrid services that need to be installed onto the Forcepoint Management Server. The first service that we need to discuss is the Sync Service. The Sync Service runs on the Forcepoint Security Management Server and is responsible for sending policy and user information to the Forcepoint Cloud. The Sync Service also receives reporting log records from the Forcepoint Cloud Service. The second service that we need to discuss is the Directory Agent Service. The Directory Agent gathers user information from your Active Directory and provides it to the Sync Service so that it can be sent to the Forcepoint Cloud with the policy information. Now that we understand the purpose of these two services, let's go ahead and install them. To get started, we need to RDP to the Forcepoint Security Management Server where your Forcepoint services are installed. It is recommended to install these two services onto the same server that hosts your log server. Once we are on the Forcepoint Security Manager server, we need to run the Forcepoint setup. I do this by going to start and typing in Forcepoint, which usually brings up the Forcepoint setup as the first option. Click on this if it's available. If you do not see this option listed here, then you will want to locate the installer EXE that you used to install the solution originally. Just make sure that this is the same version that you currently have installed. When you run the installer, it will need to extract, but once this is done, you will see the correct setup screen. If you do not have the EXE either, then you will need to acquire a new copy of it from the Forcepoint support download site. Make sure to download the version that you currently have installed. Once that is downloaded, run it and then you should be on the correct setup screen. When the setup window pops up, select the modify button next to the web security section. When the installer opens, you should see an option that says, install additional components on this machine. Select this option and proceed to the next screen. Here you will see a list of Forcepoint services that are not currently installed. If we scroll down to the bottom of this list, you should see the two services that we want to install listed under the Interoperability section. Here you will select the checkbox next to the sync service and the checkbox next to the directory agent. After making this selection, click Next. Finally, confirm that the appropriate services are selected on the pre-installation summary screen and click Next to begin installing these services. Once the services have been installed, you can exit the installer. Make sure on the pop-up window that you have the Keep Installation Files option selected so you do not have to extract the installer again. Finally, let's just confirm that the services are installed by going to Start and Services. Here we can see that both the Sync Service and the Directory Agent are installed. From here, you are good to proceed through the steps in the Web Security Hybrid Configuration and Endpoint Installation video. Thanks for watching this video where we covered installing the Forcepoint Sync Service and Directory Agent services that are used for the Web Security Hybrid deployment. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below or reach out to your account manager for more assistance. If you would like to see more of these videos, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to be alerted when more videos are posted. See you next time.